Election log was added to OSRS on December 6th, 2018, and it didn't take long for people to start filling as many slots as they possibly could. The biggest question was, how long would it take someone to fill out every slot in the log, or at least all the bosses? This Sunday, June 25th, that question was answered. The rank 1 player, Basilius, became the first person to complete every single log in the boss section when he obtained the Inquisitor's Mace to finish the Nightmare Log at 5,500 normal and 3,800 Fasani KC. In RuneScape 3, this achievement has an associated title called Insane Reaper, where you get the gold version of the Reaper title, and a total of 127 players have completed this, but in old school, this is the first time something like this has ever been done. Basilius, or Domas, as he's known, didn't just finish the boss logs, though. He also has every drop from all three raids, not including the capes, and he's also finished the miscellaneous and slayer logs. This means that he's gotten some very rare drops from things like Mithril Dragons with the Dragon Full Helm, uh, Dusk Mystic Set from Slayer, and both the Imbued Heart and Eternal Gem. Looks like several times, actually. In fact, the only item that he's missing from the other tab is the Stale Baguette from Random Events. When I asked Domas what his longest grinds were, he started with Dusk Mystic. Dusk Mystic is one of the rarest items in the log, with a drop rate of about 1 in 1k for each of the 5 pieces. Domas ended up going 4900 keys dry for the final piece, spending about 1500 hours. This is a grind that many dread, as Konar Slayer is not particularly profitable or high experience per hour, but it may be getting easier soon with a potential update to add a guaranteed key on each superior kill. Next thing he mentioned was the Dragon Full Helm. Dragon Full Helm is on average about 8,000 Mithril Dragons to complete. Getting the Helm took him a total of 45,000 KC, and that's about five times the rate. So the next time you go two times dry on a Zora drop, consider how much worse something like this could be. Another long drawing for him was Revenance. Revenance is, has changed over time, but the drop rates have always been pretty punishing. He finished it after more than 400 hours, over 70,000 kill count, with the last item being the Vigora's Chain Mace. This is another grind that has gotten a lot faster over time, with the boosted drop rate on task only recently being added with the Wilderness updates, but this was before that, so doing it today, hopefully he would have spent a bit less time. Another major change in the boss log was the recent update to the Jar of Darkness. The Jar of Darkness used to be one of the most complete lottery items, just total luck. You can never know if you're going to get it or not, but recently was finally changed with a pull to a more reasonable 1 in 200. But of course, even a reasonable rate can still take some time. And Domas finally got his jar, 456 kills after the drop rate change, so about two and a half times. Not too bad, but 400 totems is still a long time. You might be thinking, what about pets? Well, Domas already had that covered. Domas got all pets back in June of 2020, with the Nightmare Pet dropped at 4487kc in groups. Considered relatively lucky on all pets, he was the 10th player to finish the achievement, and he's cupped up with the new releases over time as new pets came out. All this adds up to one of the most impressive collection logs in the game. As you can see, every single log is greened. You can go through it yourself on the collection log website to see what's going on. But as we said, the Jar of Darkness uh, in the Skatizo log is here. All of the items in group bosses like Nex, uh, uh, as we said, Nightmare, they're all here. And that's not all. He's also finished all of the items in the Raids tab, not including the capes, for both Chambers, TOB, and Tombs of Masket, with just the capes to go. So that might be a fun log to work on right now. But what else is left? Well, of course, there's Clues. Clues is one of the craziest grinds in the game. And while he's already finished Beginner, Easy, Medium, and Hard regular rewards, the Elite, Master, and of course all of the Mega Rare tabs still have yet to be finished. This brings to light exactly just how hard it is to fill out the Clue Scroll log. With the amount of playtime taken to complete every single boss, as well as all of Miscellaneous and Slayer drops, oh, and he's also finished the Minigame tab, He's barely begun to scratch the surface in terms of how many Third Age items there really are out there to get. And this is just why we say that the collection log will never be completed. Third Age is just so amazingly rare, 
that finishing it is near impossible, even if it's current state, much less if we consider that Jagex can always add more items. But the success of one person to finally complete the bossing section shows that collection logging can be a rewarding experience overall. Especially in the end game scenarios, when it takes a long time to get, but it's still worth it. As we can see, Domas is the rank 1 collection logger. No one else has managed to complete all of these tabs to the same amount of extent that he has, but several people are right on the end. And this shows that it's still a rewarding playstyle. And finishing long term goals in RuneScape is definitely possible if you keep, keep at it. And as we know, no one's better at keeping at a long grind than old school RuneScape players. If you want to know more about Basilius, the collection log, or anything that we talked about in this video, feel free to check it down below. There's, I'll put a link to the tweet of him finally finishing the bossing log. I'll also put a link to collectionlog.net, a site where you could check out everyone's collection log. Finally, I'll include a link to the collection log discord. This is where people who are enthusiastic about filling out slots in the collection log gather to discuss strategies, show off their recent log acquisitions, and whatnot. As for me, I'm still working on the collection log every day. I'm closing in on 1100 slots, and it's a really rewarding way to play the game because you can do pretty much anything and still make progress. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this introductory look at collection logging as well as a retrospective on one of the coolest logs in the game. And until next time, peace out.